Insults fly as Parliament enters its last week. Ankle bracelets fears in the wake of a leaked report and it's officially the last week of winter. So we take a look at what's in store weather-wise. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Questions of coalition swirl in the lead up to the election. Labour leader Chris Hipkins has ruled out working with New Zealand First after New Zealand First previously ruled out Labour. Hipkins has also come out swinging in his speech over the weekend, dubbing a potential national act in New Zealand First a coalition of fear. ACT says it can't work with the party. The onus is now on Nationals' Chris Luxon, but he told a press conference yesterday it wasn't what he was focused on. My drive is to make sure I maximise the party vote for National. That is the guaranteed change of government that, you, that New Zealanders want and can get if they do that. Uh, and I've been making the case since the beginning of the year. We've got over 35 policies that are really about making sure how we rebuild this economy, how we restore law and order, how we deliver better health and education. That's what I'm focused on. There's concern there isn't enough monitoring of people on electronically monitored bail. A leaked police report shows people are taking advantage of the limitations of ankle bracelets by wrapping them with tinfoil and reoffending. More than 1,800 people are on electronically monitored bail across the country, up from 510 in 2018. Volunteer victim advocate Ruth Money says from a community safety perspective, the practice of foiling is terrifying. She says it makes a mockery of what should be a secure way to monitor someone. On-street parking and Auckland Transport Managed Parking Buildings prices go up today. The cost of both will increase a dollar an hour. The weekday price cap for the downtown car park is dropping from $40 to $24, but the off-peak caps for evening and weekend parking are rising from $10 to $15. The increase comes after a direction from Mayor Wayne Brown to review prices in his letter of expectation to Auckland Transport last year. It's officially the last week of winter. It's expected to be filled with mostly settled weather and frosty temperatures throughout the country. A ridge of high pressure is expected to settle over the country today, bringing clear skies for the majority of the working week. And to world news, Russian investigators say genetic tests have confirmed Yevgeny Prigozhin was among the 10 people killed when his private jet crashed. There'd been some speculation about whether the chief of the Wagner Group had really been on Thursday's doomed flight. Authorities have yet to say what they believe caused his jet to fall from the sky. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.